So picking up from last week when we discussed how to write your sales and marketing strategy for the year, the month, and the week, um, this week we're going to talk about how to use Trello to manage your sales and marketing weekly to do this. Let's get into using Trello. Now, first of all, um, what is Trello? Trello is basically a project management and organizational um, tool that you can use. It has so much flexibility and different options that you can use to manage your business projects and your business activities. Um, I use it personally to manage my clients' projects, to manage my social media calendar, and to manage my, ta my, my daily tasks and my notes and my to-do list. Um, but we'll talk about some of that in more detail um, later on, but now we're going to discuss how you can use it to manage your weekly to-do list so that you stay on top of those weekly sales and marketing activities that you'll be doing that leads up to those monthly and those yearly goals that we talked about last time. I'm going to share my screen with you and walk you through the process, um, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Okay, so this is Trello, and this is how I set up my to-do list every week. Um, now, just a, a quick explanation of Trello, because I will do um, a lesson on that later in the year, but just a quick um, lesson on how it's set up. So Trello, the project management software, as I mentioned already, um, it is designed, you can kind of customize it as you want to, but there are boards, there are boards, so because there are different hierarchies to it, so there are boards, then there are lists, and then there are cards that you add to the list. So all of these are my boards, um, the ones for my clients, and the ones that I also use to organize different areas of my business. And I'll just go into this one here, so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is the this is the board, and then they hold these lists where I have here to do in progress and done. And then on the list there are different cards, and within those cards you can do different things, including um, simple notes down to checklists, um, color coding things, um, adding different members from your team, and um, giving them instructions, putting deadlines on them, etc. So. Um, as far as using this in conjunction with your marketing and your sales strategy and your day-to-day -day activities that lead up to those goals, um, there are two different ways that you can do this. So the first way is for you to set, set it up with the board, the cards, and the list. And that works well if you want to actually have deadlines, um, have, have deadlines and have alerts um for each time of each activity that you do during the day each task that you have scheduled each day if you want it to be time sensitive for everything you do and stay on a specific time schedule you can set an alert and a date and time that each of these items are due and you'll get a reminder about it now if you just want a checklist of to do's that you can mark off for each day for instance how i have this one then um, that, that's a, there's a simpler way to do that than to actually have um, each of the lists with the cards on them. So I'm going to show you both ways. So let's go back to home and I set up an example board. Oh, there it is. Okay. So this is the board. It's, um, it's freshly made and all you have to do to make a board is, let's go back to home page. Would go to this plus sign go to create a board and you would type the name in here if you want to choose a certain background or a photo to go on the board um then you would click on this um you would decide here whether you want to add your team to it or not and then decide here whether you want to make it a private or public board um, public meaning anybody on the internet can access the board. Um, private is only board members or only people that you share the link with can access the board. So, um, I'm going to, let's go to the example board here. 
And we're going to the first way that I mentioned to you, which is adding, doing the actual list and cards and um, making deadlines. We'll do it that way first. So first list are to-dos. Then the next list, some people call it doing, but I say in progress. And the next list is done. So you have your list done. And then after that is just adding your cards to them. So let's say um, on Monday you want to write, write your blog post for the week. Um, then you also want to record a video. And um, you want to make sure that all your blog, um, all your social media posts are scheduled um, for the next week. So this would be how you could set that to-do list up or you could set that up for your to-dos. And if you wanted to actually go through each day of the week, and add these cards and put a deadline on them and then you stick them in progress and move them to done once they're finished. You could set it up that way too. Um, but however, you know, you can customize it however you want, but you know, this would make it as simple as possible. And either way it go, you can add that, you know, add these deadlines on there. Go to due date here. So if you wanna have this done by Monday evening, would click on Monday and click on well, let's do the next week because of when this is going to come out. But you can click on um, Monday and um, when do you want to set a reminder for this? You want to set a reminder. Um, let's set a reminder um, the day before it's due. So it's due next Monday. Um, you can set a time for it if you want it to be done by Monday evening. You would go to 6 o'clock p.m. And save. And it will send you a reminder. And you can also add a calendar. I have it on my other one. So I'll show you how that looks with um, an actual schedule on it. But you can add, um, add dates and times for all of these things and it will set your reminder. Once you're done with the item, you can click move um, and move it to in progress if you're working on it or move it to done um, once it's complete and it moves here. And you can actually use the butler, set up the butler um, to have it move um, if you set up certain scenarios you can have it automatically move for you once it's complete and once you check off that box saying that it's complete here so um that's the first way to do it and as I was saying um you can actually I'm gonna move these out of the way for a second if you just want to make a simple to-do list um this is how I do mine so you would to do and I actually put the date you know that mon that Sunday through Saturday on there so for this I would put you have here where you can choose a checklist so I would um, add seven checklists I mean is that one two three <laughs> four five, six, one more, one more, seven. Um, and then I would go back and rename each checklist for the day of the week. Okay, 
Monday through Sunday. And then on there, you can just add your items. You can add, like we did before, write blog posts. Um, Tuesday, for video. Wednesday, um, for podcasts. Thursday, schedule, social media, and also on Thursday, schedule, uh, send out newsletter. So it would be more than that going down the list. And like I said, you can add, you know, your personal time on there and everything in, in one place. But once you're done with each of these items, you can mark them off. If you decide that, you know, if you run out of time on, you know, one day and you don't get to everything, you can move it to the next day. Um, so this is a very simple way to do it. And then once you're done with the whole week, then you can, you know, whatever you want to do, if you can send it to done, you can archive it here um, or you can delete it. Okay, let's, let me show you really quickly um, the calendar that I was talking about. I don't have it on this one. Where I might have the calendar. Okay, so here, calendar is set up. And um, I don't have anything on there because I don't have any deadlines on anything right now. But your cards would actually show up or you can add a card and write blog time 6 p.m. And um, it'll show up here. It won't give a time, the time details, but all of your cards on your list will show up on the appropriate date. And then if you click on it, it'll give you time details and then you can check it off. Or you can just look at it, you know, um, from the regular list. Um, if you want to see it that way. So you would just click an X and it will go back to your list. And that's it. Um, that's a simple way to manage it and it goes in conjunction with the sales, um, the marketing and sales plan that I was telling you guys about and the one from last week. So I'm gonna go back to talking to you guys for a second, all right? So those are a couple of simple ways that you can use Trello to set up your to-do list and stay on top of your activities for the week. And you can use it for so much more. Um, once I discovered Trello, I had been, you know, when I discovered it, I had been looking for um, some type of project management, editorial type calendar. And when I came across that, it solved all of the issues that I had been having um, and it gave me the flexibility that I needed. I went through so many different other things and they just weren't, you know, they just weren't getting hit in the mark. So um, go to Trello.com. You can try it out for free. You can even, you know, you have a free account. And in there, if you want more automation, more ways to customize, then you can um, transfer to a paid plan. If you already purchased my sales and marketing planner, then this goes hand in hand with that and also with the video where I walked you through everything last week. Um, if you haven't purchased that, you still have a chance to get your hands on that. Um, if you go to daniellettowner.com slash shop, you can get your hands on my sales and marketing planner. It's a digital downloadable planner and it will help get you on track to stay on top of your, your yearly, your monthly, and your weekly sales goals Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and we'll talk about it. See you next time. So those are a couple of simple ways that you can use Trello to set up your to-do list and stay on top of your activities for the week. And you can use it for so much more. Um, once I discovered Trello, I had been, you know, when I discovered it, I had been looking for um, some type of project management, editorial type calendar, and when I came across that, it solved all of the issues that I had been having 
Um, and it gave me the flexibility that I needed because I had went through so many different other things and they just weren't, you know, they just weren't getting, hitting the mark. So go to Trello.com. You can try it out for free. You can even, you know, you have a free account. And then there, if you want more automation, more ways to customize, then you can um, transfer to a paid plan. So that's all I have for you now. If you already purchased my sales and marketing planner, then this goes hand in hand with that and also with the video where I walked you through everything last week. Um, if you haven't purchased that, you still have a chance to get your hands on that. Um, if you go to daniellettowner.com slash shop, you can get your hands on my sales and marketing planner. It's a digital downloadable planner and it will help get you on track to stay on top of your, your yearly, your monthly, and your weekly sales goals and activities. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, post them in the comments.